Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. What is up adventurers? We made it to the beautiful city of Korcha and uh, today we're feeling like we're starving so we are going to take you on a traditional food tour of the city. Let's go! Before we start the video guys make sure and go and smash that red subscribe button. We're on the path to 1000 subscribers so it would mean a lot if you went and subscribed right now. So our first stop today guys is the Bira Korcha Brewery here in Korcha of course. So we're making our way over to that brewery. They have a restaurant. And we're gonna try and do a bit of a tour of the brewery itself as well. The last food tour video that we did was in Vlora and that was very popular. So this is exactly why we decided to do another food tour video. We had a lot of demand in the comments to do more of these styles of videos. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. At our first stop at the brewery Biracorcha, we ordered the village sausage, the pork shish kebab, the cheese oven, the tirokaftori. We wanted the lima beans and the peppers with curds as well, but the waiter said that that's more of a seasonal dish that you can order predominantly in the winter time and that they don't sell it at the moment. And we also got a light version and a darker version of the Biracorcha because we didn't try the dark version yet and we're super excited to try that one out. Mm. Oh, it's very good. It's uh, a lot maltier than I thought. Super tasty. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Is it better than the light one? No, I think... Wait. I think they're both equally good. It's very difficult to say which one is better. I'm gonna try both now. Uh, I know what the light version of Bira Korcha is like, like I've, I've had many of these in our stay in Albania so far. Um, so I'm gonna try the dark one for the first time. Cheers. Um, prost. <laughs> oh yeah. It's very malty. Um, it is really nice as well. I also, I also feel like the light version tastes different uh, directly from the, the brewery here than the one that we had in the bottle. So like this one tastes very different as well, but a lot like a lot nicer than from the bottle. <laughs> um, the dark one is uh, it's very tasty. <clears throat> Definitely a malt, heavy on the malt. Uh, I personally, I like Pilsner. Um, I love Pilsner beer in general, so this one is more like leaning towards my taste. I'm gonna try this one from here. Yeah, for me, just based on the taste, I would order this one over the dark one. What about you? I prefer this one, but only because um, I'm from Düsseldorf and in the Düsseldorf area we have Alt, so like a very very dark beer as well, so I do prefer this one, but just because I grew up with that beer. <laughs> so the verdict is settled. I prefer the lighter version and Naomi likes the darker version, so at least we know which one we're going to be drinking for this meal. That's the village sausage. Wow, super nice. German approved. <laughs> you want to try? Yeah, I'll have a go. Okay, that's really nice. I'm not too sure what the meat what the meat is on the village sausage. I think it's 
does it say on the menu? No. Nope. If you know what if you know what meat the village sausage would be, drop it down in the comments for us. Tastes kind of like pork. Very well seasoned. Nice and fatty. Um, really, really tasty. So now we're gonna dive into the rest of it after Naomi has some more village sausage. <laughs> the sausage is super crunchy on the outside as well, so it's just so amazing. Mm. Yeah, the village sausage is a winner. Um, we're just waiting for the cheese oven dish now. That's the next one. But we have the tiro kaftari, we have the shish kebab, and we have the village sausage as well. So it's really good. Next up, we have a wasp. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have the pork shish kebab. Let's give this a try. Mm. Perfect, it is grilled on point. Super good. I'm gonna give the shish kebab a shot now, guys. <clears throat> pork. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. The shish kebab is yeah, very very tasty. Um, we've tried some some shish kebab when we were in Tirana. We went to Tami, the smoke restaurant in Tirana. We had chicken shish kebab there. That was really good. The pork one is even better. So fantastic really tasty i think this trumps the chicken shish kebab definitely it's seasoned on point and grilled on point perfection okay so we're gonna try the tiro kaftari now which is like a cheese kind of like a cheese sauce um, looks really good. We're gonna try that with some of the bread that was served to us. So we're gonna give it a go. Naomi's up first. Mm. Mm. This, I think it's cheese based with olive oil. And I would say it's, it has a little bit of a kick. So maybe some red peppers or something in there as well. Super tasty. Mm. I didn't expect the kick, to be honest, but it's very good. I'm gonna give it a shot now, guys. Gonna go in for a dip. How much? How much of a kick are we talking? Is it spicy? <laughs> I'm not a. Sp I'm, I am a spicy person, but I don't enjoy spicy food too much. So for me, it's very spicy. <laughs> Yeah. That's very tasty. It doesn't really remind me of anything that I've tried before either. It's like a spicy cheese sauce, like a nacho cheese sauce. Very good. And I'm starting to get that kick now as well. Feel it right here at the back of my throat. <clears throat> yeah. Now oh, that's that's a winner. That's a winner for me. It's a lot better than a nacho cheese sauce though. Because yeah. it's homemade and so tasty. Exactly, yeah. I was meant to say that um, nacho cheese sauce used typically in Ireland comes from like a can uh, processed. This is clearly a lot better in terms of quality and in taste. So yeah, this one is actually a winner for me. This is my favorite thing that I've tried so far. Hopefully we get this cheese oven dish now. Okay guys, so that was a quick pit stop in Bira Corcha, the brewery itself. We just stopped off at the restaurant to have a quick bite to eat and um, fantastic food. Very good prices as well for the food that you do get. Uh, my favorite dish was the Tiro Kaftari. What about you? 
My favorite dish was the villet sausage by far. Yep, uh, really tasty food, fantastic prices and great beer. So what more could you want? Unfortunately, go, unfortunately though, they weren't doing tours in the brewery itself, but um, we're definitely gonna come back to Korcha very, very soon because we're absolutely already in love with this city. So the main street here in Korcha is called Bul Boulevardi Fan Noli. Um, so that is a street to look for. It's very picturesque, lined with trees, and it kind of connects you to a lot of things that you need to be doing in the center of Korcha. Okay guys, so we're back here now in the center of Korcha and we just stopped at this little park here in the center. We haven't actually seen this park yet, but it's beautiful, really scenic, very chill. So we're gonna chill here, let the food that we just had settle down in our stomachs, and then we're gonna go to the next place and grab some more food. While we're waiting here for the fire to be hot enough, I guess, um, to to bake this pie, um, we might as well take the opportunity to thank all of the people here in Korcha. They are so welcoming and they give us the opportunity to really see how the food here is made. And this specific pie, in case you're interested, um, it is a two-layered pie and the lower one is basically like the dough is basically like a phyllo type of dough so it's gonna be like a thin dough and inside now is uh, one half spinach and feta and the other side is tomato and onion so it's gonna be super delicious and we're gonna pop it into the fire in a few and then we'll keep you updated on the status of the pie <laughs> okay so we got the full pie itself one half is tomato and onion and then the other half is going to be spinach so very excited to try this. Now we're witnessing it being made right now. imagine what this is going to taste like. Huh? It's bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> so they had this uh, really traditional looking stove fire where you just have like a lever on the side fire there with the wood burning underneath it and then it almost it looks like a press or something like that and you just literally lift the lead press the lever down it comes up and you pop you pop the pie in and then you just slowly let go of that lever and it comes down over it traps and holds all the heat in there and then brings that heat up into the pie so incredibly excited to try this out i can't wait i'm starving and um, the last time we ate was just earlier there at the birra korcha i'm so excited look at the size of this in comparison to me <laughs> wow yeah, it's definitely enough for three people <laughs> naomi for scale yeah, yeah naomi for scale <laughs> So you have the option to use knives and forks or your hands with this. So I'm gonna go by hand. Luke eats everything with his hands. It's better to eat with your hands, no? <laughs> <laughs> we tried the spinach. It was amazing. And now, Still is amazing. Yeah, it's really, really perfect. Now tomato and onion. Mm. Tomato and Even onion. Better. <laughs> Even better than the spinach one. Oh yes. I, did, I didn't think you could do better than the spinach, but okay. Very, I'm gonna try. Very fruity tomatoes with a little bit of a kick. Like you have a spice in there as well. Mm. 
Yeah, the tomato is the best. Palim in dirt. Palim in dirt. Palim in dirt. Alright guys, so it's the next day. We are hungry again, as always. So we're on our way to the next and final stop of this food tour here in beautiful Korcha. Um, we're very sorry if this footage does seem to be a bit mishmash and all over the place because we had some issues when we were processing the actual footage itself and some of the clips that we took were missing when we went to go and edit this video. So sorry about that in advance if you're watching it now. But uh, we're on our way now to a restaurant called Berari Panda. So it should be interesting. We're gonna try some traditional food and hope it's good. Let's go. So we decided to go to this brewery because our host Yoni, hi Yoni, um, she said that this uh, restaurant here was actually the first brewery type of restaurant, so Bira, Birari Panda was the first one and uh, Birari Korcha, that, the restaurant that belongs to that brewery, was the second one here in town. Um, and this time we ordered, one second, we ordered the Chigania Mish, so pork in the pan. <laughs> We ordered. Where is it? This one. Yep, the this cheese, baked cheese. Saganaki fura. We and... so we guess it's baked cheese. Um. And the last one was the this one here, köfte. Köfte vici vogel. A few of those as well. So I just said we can try a little bit and see as well how it compares to the other brewery. Let's go. Right, guys. So the first thing that we're gonna try here is. Saganaki Fura, I believe it's called, so uh, can't wait to try this out. It just seems to be like cheese that's put into an oven um, with some vegetables mixed in, mixed in with it as well, so should be good. Let's give it a try. Mm. Good. Oh. Super tasty. Mm. That's amazing. Oh yeah, that's very good. It's very tasty. Maybe if you add some bread to it. Mhm. Mm you got these big, big chunks of bread. Big, big loaves of bread that came out here with the food. <laughs> All right. Give this a second try. This time with bread. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah. Looks really good, guys. It's like a feel good type of food. Mm. Yeah, it's like a cozy comfort food. Yeah. Very tasty. Um, we're still waiting now for the other two items on the menu. So, but this one here, Saganaki Fur, thumbs up. We like it. Next up, guys, we have the Tigania Mish. Gichi or Gisi, we're not too sure yet how to pronounce that, but pork in a pan basically. Yeah, <laughs> it's pork meat in a pan um, with some mushrooms and peppers and a sauce. So that's gonna be tasty. Let's give it a try. Mm. What's the sauce like? Mm. Mm. A little bit like vinegary, creamy. Good. Yeah. Very tasty. Check out Super this, guys. Does it look good? If any of you guys know the recipe or how this dish in particular is made, drop it down in the comments for us. I'm about to try it out right now. Oh yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. mm. How would you describe the sauce? It's like a pepper sauce. For me, it tastes kind of peppery. Like a pepper sauce that you would put on a on a steak, for example. Really tasty, though. Yeah. Um, you've got the red peppers, mushrooms. Um, what's this? Parsley. Some parsley as well. <laughs> I'm not too familiar with the the seasonings, but uh, 
really nice nice pop of flavor from everything that's mixed in here so super excited to try more oh, the next dish thank you just came. we just got the calf meatballs calf kofta yeah so very excited this is going to be the next dish that we try but first we're going to polish off the rest of this bad boy Right guys, so right guys. we finished this bad boy off, nice and empty. Super tasty. Now we're on to the, the final boss, the last, uh, mm. the last uh, hurdle. This right here is a calf. Chufta. Calf chufta. Or chufta. I think it's chufta. I think it's chufta. Obviously, earlier on in the video, we had some chufta. We've had quite a lot of chufta here in Albania uh, since we since we've come here. We've just been eating a lot of it. Um, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's really tasty, but we've never tried calf chufta, so this is going to be a first for us as well. Let's dive in. Gonna do some diving. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Hot. Eating temperature. Nice and tender. Mm. Perfection. I'm sorry. Joking? Okay. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm trying to say something, but I have my mouth full of trefta, so difficult. But this trefta is just amazing. It's like grilled to perfection, so like the outside is super crunchy, crispy. And on the inside, it's still super juicy and really tender meat. Mm. Seasoning on point as well. Yeah, this is uh, incredible. It's seasoned really well. Very tender meat. Very juicy as well. And um, salady. Salady. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect size of chofta as well. Like nice little round discs of chofta to enjoy. We got two each. So we're gonna finish these off. And then who knows where we're gonna end up. Maybe this will be the end of the video, but this meal right here was absolutely delicious. Uh, Berari Panda is the name of the location where we are right now. We went to Berari Korcha earlier yesterday. We also tried out uh, that uh, Lacrari or La what was it called? Lacrore? Lacrori. I think the English uh, version is Lacrore. Lacrore. The Albanian is Lacrori. La yeah. Something like that. That's what we yeah. had um, yesterday as well. That was absolutely phenomenal. It was probably one of the best dishes that I've ever tried, like hands down, even not like in any country that I've been in. It was absolutely delicious. Um, but yeah, this place gets a solid thumb, two thumbs up from both of us. Yeah. So we're back now in our hotel stay. That was our quick little food tour around Korcha. There's gonna be many more videos just like this here in beautiful Albania and in Korcha. We mentioned in the last video that we have a bit of news for you. So do you want to tell the news? We, um, we like Korcha so much actually that we decided to book an apartment here for an entire month. So the initial plan was actually to go to North Macedonia and Romania next, but uh, we decided to just stay here and cover this area a little bit more because we're so in love with it. Yeah, so we're going to be basically staying in Korcha for the next four weeks and we're going to be documenting everything that we're doing here. Plenty more videos about beautiful Albania for you guys to enjoy. So if you did like this video and you do like our content, drop a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and drop a comment down below about places around Korcha that you want us to explore. So thanks guys, that's the video. I'll see you in the next one. We're Nalu Adventures. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!